I'm in my bag. So soft and so tender. Daddy in the kitchen and he told me, son, listen. He said, you don't have to play the part that they wrote for you. You don't have to play the part. Um, but talk to me, speaking of soft and tender, which is evolving as we're as I'm watching. So it, tell me how you conceived what went into the creation, production, writing of the soft and tender EP. What drove, what was the, the song under that music? What underpinned it? Yeah, so it started with the Soft and Tender song that was written. That was the first song uh, that I wrote in, in the condo that, that I purchased two mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in a neighborhood in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I won't say which neighborhood. Good but for you. In a neighborhood <laughs> Smart in choice. <laughs> and, um, and, and so I think that that was like, uh, there was something about that being the first song in a space that I owned, you mm. know, uh, that, that felt so important. And, and I don't know what it was that a song about my dad came out of that. You know, I've never talked about at my a key dad point in, that in your way. life yeah that's it, what it, came right right at, at this milestone moment that's what came out of my body was was that mm. you know and um and so I, it, I i had a roommate at the time and my roommate was there while i was i was making the song and he was like yo you got something with this and the fact that it came from him i was like <laughs> okay that means something you uh -huh. know um and so that song came out and the, the EP actually wasn't even thought about when the song came out. Um, and then I had a conversation with my manager Felton. We had just started working together and we were like, we got, we got to put a project out together, like the, like our, our first joint effort, yeah. you know? And so I was like, well, I got this song and I got this other song and I can make an intro. I made the intro that night in like two hours, you know, uh, that intro features Shawnee Dez. <laughs> Shout out Shawnee Dez uh, for making that, that uh, a, a, a historical moment nice. for, for me. Um, and then we put together the five songs and uh, and then I, I, I got to shout out my homie Link also uh, from Toronto. He was visiting uh, one month and it was we were listening to the song and he was like, you know, this conversation would be th this song is a conversation mm -hmm. starter and it can be had with people that look like us, you know, and I was like, yeah, OK, well, what if we just like do some funding for, for a series, you know? And I got all these series that I watch on you. I'm a big YouTube watcher. So I'm like, I got all these series that I love mm. and why can't we make that? Mm. We could do, we could make that. And we did, you know, we, we, we crowdsourced uh, and crowdfunded uh, mm. three episodes and, uh, and and the music is what inspired it, you know? And that's, that's yeah. how I want to, that's how I want my career to Come be on. is I want to do all these, I have so many things that I want to do. I'm a, I'm a big anime fan. And so I'm like, imagination is like, is my thing. You know, I, yeah. I, I have a big action figure collection to this uh, day, oh, you wow. know, okay. uh, actively, you nice. know, like I, my, my brain is always working to build worlds. Mm. And so, mm. um, but, but I also know music is the foundation for it. As mm. long as I keep doing that and keep being creative, it's endless what we can do. Dick, and I have seen Chicago, the first three episodes of Soft and Tender, and they are, you really are, I said this at the beginning of the show, I think there's an anointing on you. Um, this is not, it can be great, it can be wonderful, but this is not easy to do. And the level of conversation and discourse you had with the gentlemen who have been on your show is powerful. Um, so let me just witness that publicly. What do you hope to accomplish? What do you want the viewer to get from the soft and tender television conversation series? Yeah, I want them to see how normal uh, our stories are. Mm -hmm. I want them to find themselves in the stories that are told and I want them to see how universally, uh, how universally impactful and, uh, and moving black fatherhood is. Mm -hmm. I think we have these very, confined stories in our head and confined boundaries in our head of what black fathers can do and what they are and how they're able to love. And I want to show them that it's actually limitless, mm. you know, um, and and uh, and no matter what your story is, there is somebody else out there that shares a commonality with yeah. you. You know, um, and so I want people to come and, and find common ground with with the men that are on set with us. Tell my father that I love him and it was an honor. Epiphanies I had right before I light the blunder. Brown man taught me I could love how I wanna. So soft and so tender. Daddy in the kitchen and he told me son.